Hi, this is Chris with Clipper Distributing Company. This is a step-by-step -step video to show you how to install a two-way mixing station. Two-way mixing station will dilute the rescue concentrate down and eliminate the need for any kind of mixing, manual mixing, and uh, optimize uh, employee safety, saving you time and money. Find an area that is free of any electrical outlets and find your stud area to hang your mixing station is the first step. We've found our area here where we're going to install the mixing station and drill some holes. Once the screws are attached to the wall, you do not want them to be all the way against the wall. You want to leave some room so you can remove the mixing station in order to calibrate the metering tips. Calibrating the metering tips require testing them with some testing strips. You want to bring in your five gallon bucket or your 55 gallon drum or it'll work with a one gallon container of rescue. You want to make sure that there's enough room down here for a mop bucket to come in and fill up. Place your bucket below the mixing station and grab your two downward lines which will attach after you change the metering tips here on the unit. Some faucets will require a Y valve to help you uh, get the hose hooked off to the side and also allow for regular water to be used on this side. This will always be on and constant pressure to the mixing station. This side can be controlled with this valve to control the water for another source. Make sure the hose is tight in both areas. And in the end of the mixing station, don't forget to put in the screen. Make sure the rubber washer is fully seated into the actual mixing station so that it's flush and properly installed so it will not cause a leak. Hand tighten the mixing station to the actual hose and then increase the water and you'll see the pressure meter going up. Most pressures are going to be anywhere from 40 PSI to 125. Once the water pressure is on, you can now start checking the metering tips to make sure you have the right strength. The different colored metering tips apply to the different strengths of rescue. You want to start with the true green color which is medium green. There's other greens in there. There's 20 different colors, but you want to start with the true green, not the forest green. Taking the mixing station off the wall, you will take the medium colored green tip and put it in the high flow for the mop bucket. Turn the little mixing tip metering tip into the end and hand tighten it. Do not over tighten. It may break off if you do that. And then connect your hose to the end. Hang your mixing station back on the wall. Taking your bucket Place the hose end in with the hose weight. And then we're going to test the formula. 
you'll need a bucket or a dish to be able to pour into. Attach your mop bucket hose to the mixing station on the bottom. And hang your mixing station back up. And now we're ready to test the solution. We just need a container and we'll be able to test the mop bucket solution. In this clinic, they're gonna go with the 164, which is two ounces per gallon. And uh, that's vericidal, which uh, they're gonna mop their floors with. On the bottle fill, we'll set it at a different setting. So we're now going to test the solution to see what strength we have it. You wanna wait until you pull the fluid up out of the bucket to get a true test. So the first, um, the first solution will be something that you will dispose of because it's not the right mixture. Now that we have full fluid into the line, we can get a true test. Turn your valve on all the way. And you just need a little bit into the bucket or into any kind of a, a dog dish or anything of the, that nature. Now you get your test strips. When measuring the actual strength of rescue, you would dip the actual test strip into the liquid for one second and then get rid of any excess and start your timer for two minutes and at two minutes it'll give us our parts per million and our color. The color we're looking for here at the 164th or two ounces per gallon is a yellow or light brown which is shown on the side of the bottle. So after two minutes you can see that color and that'll tell you what the strength is. After testing the solution, we found that it's too strong with the green metering tip. So with our chart, we're going to make it lighter. And to make it lighter, we go up further on the chart, and that makes for a lighter concentration. We're at medium green. We're going to jump up to dark green. Since the metering tip was too strong at the true green, we're going to go to dark green. In order to do that, we're going to have to remove the mixing station, turn it around, and change out our metering tip. It's good to have a rag or paper towel to help you loosen up the actual metering tip to change out for the dark green one. Now that we replace the medium green with the dark green metering tip, we will reattach the hose and hang the mixing station back on the wall. Again, we're going to have to bleed the, the actual air out of the line. Once that's full with fluid, we can get a new test. Grabbing another test strip. Getting your timer ready. Put the test strip in for one second and shake the excess off. Hit your start for your timing and time for two minutes and check the color. Again, we're looking for a yellow brown color. It's been two minutes and our color is too pale. It's too light of a strength. So we're going to have to change our metering tip from dark green and come back to make it darker. We're going to go with a gray metering tip this time.
We've now put the gray metering tip on the end of the mixing station for the line to the rescue product. We hang our mixing station back on the wall. We have to bleed the line. Once that's done, we can now check our solution and see what strength it's at. Dip the testing strip for one second. Shake off the excess and set your timer for two minutes. After two minutes, we've got the color that we desire. It's a light yellow with a little bit of brown in it. That gives us our 700 parts per million, which is 1 64th, which is two ounces per gallon that they're going to use for the high flow for their mop bucket. Next, we're gonna configure the bottle fill for their 32 ounce bottles. The bottle fill is very easy for the clinic techs to be able to fill their bottles. We'll install this small short hose underneath here and they'll be able to fill their bottles with the flip of a switch. For the bottle fill, there's a whole different pressure that's coming out of there with the high flow. For the mop bucket, it comes out a lot stronger and faster. It's a stronger uh, pounds per square inch. But for the bottle fill, it's dialed back a bit and it's not as strong. So we're gonna start again with the medium green. We ended up with gray for the mop bucket, high flow. We're gonna go to a medium green to test the actual strength coming out of this particular unit uh, for the bottle fill. Again, we're gonna take our long hose with the weight on the end, drop it into the bucket. And attach it here to the mixing station to the other control. We'll attach our bottle dispenser hose. Attach the short hose for the bottle fill. And then we hang the mixing station back on the wall. And now we're going to test to see what strength the bottle fill has. Remember we have to Draw the air out of the line first, coming from the rescue. Once that's drawn out, we get a true mixture. We tried the medium tip for the bottle fill and it was too strong. So we're now going to change on our chart. We're gonna to go to a lighter um, mixing metering tip. So we're gonna go up the chart from medium green up to pink. Again, you would screw the metering tip into the bottom of the black station. Using a rag to help you tighten down the metering tip. Connecting the hose. Again, we're gonna bleed out the extra air in the line. thousand shaking off the excess fluid and hitting our timer for two minutes with this solution we're doing a 132nd which is a four ounces per one gallon and with this we're trying to get a caramel color I've now changed to the bright purple for the bottle fill the bright purple is high up on the chart here for your metering tips, and that means it's gonna be lighter, and that's what we wanted to lighten up the formula. 
You can now hang the mixing station back on. After testing the uh, bright purple, we found it to be the right color to give us the four ounces per one gallon or the one thirty second. You're now able to bolt the wall, bolt the mixing station directly onto the wall and tighten up these screws. Thank you for listening and you can find all of our other films on YouTube.